Hi guys, I hope you're having a beautiful day as always. I got my boxy charm in the mail today and it is a record. I got my boxy charm in the mail today. I opened it today and I just used it today. So if you want to see all of the items, how they perform and what I got in my box, hang out with me and let's check that out right now. I have gotten BoxyCharm for a little bit. I stopped getting it for a couple of months and now I'm back on the BoxyCharm train. So this is my August box. I think they also included some stuff for me because I re-signed up again. So like some extra gifts. I'm also going to be getting the Boxy Lux in September, which I've gotten a couple Boxy Luxes and I really love them. So I look forward to that, but I wanted to use this today. So I sort of pre-opened it downstairs and kind of took a peek to see if I would be able to do a lot of a face with it. And I think I can. So we have uh, a mascara, a Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, which is really cool. There's some uh, Luxie brushes. And then down here in the box, there's a couple more things. So we have this Wander Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil, which kind of scares me. Um, I just, putting oil all over your face sounds like a bad idea for your foundation, but maybe it'll make you luminous. So there's that. Definitely going to use that first. I have some Ace Beauty um, eyeshadows. These are Glimmer eyeshadows. This one is in Huckleberry and this one is in French Vanilla. French Vanilla is just like straight silver. Look at that. Like, hello Backstreet Boys and Spice Girls. That's what that reminds me of. And then uh, the Huckleberry one is really fun. It's like this cranberry color. Oh, it started raining outside. Good use of my time now that it's raining. Water that garden. We have this massive um, eyeliner, Hollywood and Vine, coal crayon in black. So just black, like wooden pencil eyeliner. And then we have this Butter London eyeshadow palette. Ooh, there goes the plasticky thing and then that was it for the box. We have so many products to play with today. Um, Natural Goddess collection. Look at that. They almost look like they all have a bit of shimmer. Probably not going to use Femme Fatale today but maybe I'll use Queen and Temptress and, and Diva. Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. We're going to start with this. It says it's a beauty elixir. Instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin revealing a bouncy youthful complexion. I like the youthful part. Oh, it's pink. I did not expect it to be pink. And I have major redness going on. Sometimes I'm more red than others, but I seem to be very red today. I feel like that just like instantly went away. All right. Not really feeling much from that, to be honest. All right, let's give this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder a try. It says this is worth $39. This looks like a full-size product here. Weightless powder sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth invi is invisible finish formulated with 50% water and glycerin. I don't know how a uh, powder is 50% water. This powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and comfortable feel. Let's see. Big old powder brush. Whoa! Oh my god. It feels like I'm putting water on my face. Like, that I'm spraying water on my face. That is really weird. Oh my gosh. I have never felt any powder like that ever. That is crazy. It has a really nice, like, natural matte finish in person. Hey now, I 
was actually really doubtful of this, but so far, I like that. It was a really neat sensation. It felt wet, like you sprayed a mist on your face to set your makeup. Oh, something in my eye. All right, we got these brushes. It's supposed to have a large eye blending brush, a precision crease crush, crush, blah, wait, brush, and then also the Luxie 510 foundation brush. This is the precision crease brush, which is like a really small flat brush, and then there's this large shader brush. This is a large shader brush. So we'll give probably this one a try and not so much the other ones, one of which just ended up on the ground. And we have the Butter London shadows. Most of them appear shiny except for Femme Fatale. I guess Temptress does not shimmer either. So Femme Fatale and Temptress are not shimmer and the rest of them are. So let's just see what we got here. All the pun intended that went on like butter. Holy cow! I just used Enchantress, which is the lightest shade in the palette. It's kind of an all over the lid thing. Wow. That's a really pretty shade. You could totally apply that with your fingers, too. Well, it definitely covers a lot of area. <laughs> and the bristles are really soft, just like uh, all the other Luxie brushes that I have. I really like how these uh, shadows apply. They went on actually really, really smoothly and they're pretty colors. I just kind of wish there was less shimmer. There's a lot of shimmer. Ace Beauty eyeshadows. I don't know about this one. Here are the two colors. They are very metallic-y and very shimmery. Um, not really part of my look today. Next up, we have this very pokey looking eyeliner. This is the Hollywood and Vine Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner. Let's see. Ooh, it comes off really easy. Okay, I'm gonna put this on my eyeballs because I gotta look right down here in my mirror. I'll be right back. And that reminded me why I'm not a fan of these wooden pencil eyeliners. Actually, in the lower waterline, it went on great, but just on like the upper eyelid, whoo, it didn't really want to go on very smoothly, so that's a bummer. Last item here is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara Confidence Booster Brush. Oh, I don't know where my card went. How did I lose that card? Eyeshadow from Ace Beauty was $25 for these two. I would not pay that. I don't think they're worth that. Um, Hollywood and Vine Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner, $7. The Luxie Brush was $30 for the three-piece set, and the Butter London Shadows was $32, and I think those were actually worth it. Um, whoa! Look at this hot pink tube of mascara! Yeah, how much did it say this was? This is $23, and I actually tend to like Tarte Mascara, so let's see what we got here. Oop. It's a actual bristle brush, not like a rubber bristle brush. And it's got kind of a curve in the middle. Here's what my lashes look like before. So I'm going to look down to put this on, I think. Let's see if I can get one or two going on up here. You know, we all make the crazy faces when we put on mascara. And this is with one coat top and bottom and no coats. So let me do that eye. Look what I did. We all make mistakes when we put on makeup, don't we? Oops. And here are both eyes with one coat of mascara. I tried to fix my mistake. Um, so let me see if I can do a second coat. See how that turns out. I just love how hot pink this tube is. Is that terrible? <laughs> is it terrible 
that I love this. I look at their before and afters. Before and after. We have similar real life eye colors. I have that kind of like yellow stuff going on in the middle of my eyes too. I can do this. I can copy that picture. No problem. Second coat. One coat. I'm really liking where this is going. I did it again. Twice. Ooh, I like this mascara. Might be my favorite thing in the box, actually. Oh my goodness. It layered up so well. It didn't look clumpy or anything like that. They just look super volumized. I love it. Love it. How many different ways can I look? Um, yeah, I really like that. Hot pink mascara for the win. I'm sorry, L'Oreal Big Monster. You've been my favorite for a while, but ooh, this is so good. All right, guys, that was everything in my BoxyCharm this month, plus, you know, some of my regular stuff, which is fine because this wasn't like a complete perfect face for me, but I had a lot of fun playing with this box this month. I should probably try and do this every single month, try to use all of the items in my box. Um, but yeah, I had a really great time. So I'm going to say my absolute favorite item out of the box is this mascara. Assuming it doesn't smear or smudge everywhere. I loved it. Second favorite item would have to be these Butter London eyeshadows. These were a great set of items um, in this month's box. I really enjoyed it. I'm least impressed with these two Ace Beauty eyeshadows. I'm honestly even tempted to just give them away because... I just don't see myself using those. Um, I'm not sure about this uh, primer, glow oil stuff. I don't know that it makes me look just radiant, but uh, it was kind of fun to use, so I'll continue to use it and just kind of see what happens with it. Maybe it'll turn back the hands of time and I'll suddenly be younger again. Yeah, right. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day as always. If you're not subscribed, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button so we can hang out some more. If you have any suggestions for videos, go ahead and leave those down below. I would love to give something a try if you're curious about it or if you want to see some other kind of video, let me know. Uh, anyway, love you guys so, so much. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.